Governor Steve Beshear declares June Tick-Borne Diseases Awareness Month, just as Indiana officials warn people to be on the lookout for ticks. Experts say tick populations are growing, as is the chance for contracting tick-borne illnesses, like Lyme disease. WLKY's Erica Cogill has the story. The concern isn't just how many ticks are out there, rather also how small they are. Some so tiny you may not even know you've been bitten. A baby tick the size of a black pepper flake. Experts say now is the time ticks peak in their reproduction cycle, leaving many of the hard to spot babies behind. Nymphs are out attaching to people and you don't know it. These small deer ticks are what bit Logan McCulloch giving him Lyme disease in 2011. It's a debilitating disease that left him with joint aches, little energy, and little memory. The worst day for me was when I was driving to work one day on a route that I'd driven for nine years. And about halfway to work down I-64, I suddenly realized I could not figure out where I was. I didn't know what the next turn was. This is my hometown. Since his diagnosis, he's made it his mission working with an organization called Kentuckiana Lyme Disease Support Group to help spread awareness. This is the time of year to really be watching your kids, watch your dogs, and watch yourself. If you do find a tick, remove it carefully with very small tweezers, making sure you don't leave its head buried in your skin. Don't put Vaseline on them. Don't take a, a burnt match. Don't do anything to force that tick to regurgitate what's in its stomach into your blood system. That is the worst thing you want to do. Also, timing is everything. If you're bitten by a tick carrying Lyme disease, it's important to begin taking antibiotics immediately to fight off the bacteria spreading. Once they get into that tissue, it's much harder for the antibiotics in your bloodstream to reach them. Experts say the tick population is growing in Kentucky with more ticks spotted this year than last. The winter we just had was really ideal for ticks. When there's snow on the ground, Actually, the ticks do better under a layer of snow because it's actually warmer under snow than without snow in cold weather. Snow's an insulator. The Kolok suggests tucking pants into socks and wearing tick repellent clothing, also protecting your animals. If you'd like more information about Lyme disease or ticks, you can go to our website, WLKY.com. You'll find a link posted there that will take you to the Kentucky and a Lyme disease support group. Erica Coghill, WLKY News. And last summer, the CDC raised its estimates for annual new cases of Lyme disease in the U.S. from 30,000 to 300,000. In 2012, there were eight reported cases in Kentucky. 64 cases were confirmed in Indiana.